Hello, Melissa. There's Jeff. You guys have to start praying now that I don't get knocked off here. Because it happens every night. It happens in the morning, too. <laughs> Let's see. if I don't share it. I don't know. evening everyone we're going to pray the rosary and to the angels i just saw i did not realize earlier that today is the feast day of <laughs> i don't know it said it shared it to my profile but it sure isn't in my profile should i try it again Um, I saw my rosary live from yesterday and I thought, oh my goodness, what am I wearing today? And I thought, oh, that's not me today. <laughs> so. But um, today's the feast of St. Mary Magdalene de Pazzi. And ironically, somehow, see, it won't share it. Oh, this is frustrating. That's not frustrating. Um, I have a relic of St. Mary Magdalene de Pazzi. Oh, it shared it to the wrong one. Okay. Um, I don't even know how to delete this right now. Okay, it'll be three times there. Let's see if I can get it once on my normal profile page. Um, we're going to pray she was a um, mystic, an incredible mystic. And we asked her to pray for our interior life, our prayer life, right? That we can reach that divine nuptial union with God. So as long as I have her relic here, I didn't really have a place to put it, but we'll... Um, venerate it. We'll ask her to be with us here. And um, as always, we have the angels on Tuesdays. We ask their intercession. We pray for the conversion of Russia here as we look at Our Lady of Fatima, the triumph of the Immaculate Heart. We pray for um, Our project in Russia um, and in Poland and Uzbekistan. We pray for um, our work in the Middle East and the needs that they need. We have um, the land was donated to build a, a center for our ministry there with persecuted Christians, the Children of the Cross prayer groups and things. But we need just shy of $10,000, about $8,500 to build the building on the land. So we ask the Lord to provide. It's a lot of money, and yet it's not if you consider what it will provide. And we uh, still are in dire need of $1,000 for Uganda. We pray for the mission there to bear fruit once we get it going. Um, it's a different group of people than who we printed books for in Uganda before. This is a group of youth. Um, we pray for our work in Central and South America, throughout all of Africa, right? India, here in the United States. We pray for all these dear sisters who have written to me. We pray.
pray for those who are facing the closure of their communities, for the uncertainty. We pray for all sisters who are displaced, who are trying to discern their vocations and how God is going to write straight with crooked lines, right? We pray for those who are ill. We pray especially for Levi and Liam and Colton and Aubrey and Calvin and Michael and Sophia and Colette and Cecilia. We pray for Josephine and Nora, Matteo, for all of the children we've promised to pray for. We pray for Landon. We pray for um, all those needing conversion, those who've left the church. We pray for those who have birthdays today. There's a couple of people in my family with a birthday. We pray for um, peace in the world, especially in the Ukraine, for holy politicians and holy hierarchy in the church, a holy use of authority. We pray for those persecuted unjustly, and especially those imprisoned unjustly. We pray for all of our projects with the books and the art and the podcasts and this rosary and the music and everything that the Lord is asking to be done by yours truly and the Fiat Foundation and the Bethany House of Crucified Love and Prayer. And the lack of time and the lack of funds we entrust to the Lord and we trust he will multiply both and send more donors. We pray for our donors. We pray for this missionary book that I am working so diligently on. And for the future books the Lord has asked, we pray that the Lord may provide, especially financially for this home, so that I can return full time to my vocation of prayer and solitude in the midst of all this service, right, on the other side of the world. Um, we pray for children who are abused and neglected, and those who are being threatened by abortion, those who are trafficked, those in foster care. We pray for those longing to conceive and those who have lost children. We pray for their comfort. We pray for all of the intentions of all of you on all of these different pages. And we ask you in a special way to remember all of my intentions. We pray for discernment of God's will. We have to know God's will to love God's will. And we have to love God's will to do God's will. Right? So ask the Lord to um, provide for us in that way. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. O oh, Jesus, in union with your most precious blood, poured out on the cross, offered in every Mass, I offer you today my prayers, works, joys, sorrows, and sufferings, for the praise of your holy name and all the desires of your sacred heart, and reparation for sin, the conversion of sinners, the union of all Christians, for all of the intentions of my heart and our final union with you in heaven. Amen. My queen and my mother, I give myself entirely to you. And in order to show my devotion to you, I consecrate to you this day my eyes, my ears, my mouth, my heart, my entire self without reserve. Wherefore, good mother, as I am thy own, keep me and guard me as thy property and possession. And we pray courageously that prayer of Jabez. We continue also to pray for the Sudan, for our mission there, and for the priest that was going to help me that's so sick. Oh, that you would bless me indeed, enlarge my territory, that your hand would be with me, and you would keep me from evil, that I may not cause pain. I believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father, the Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We pray for Pope Francis, the cardinals, the archbishops, bishops, and the priests who work for them. We pray for the priests we've promised to pray for. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For an increase of faith, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For an increase of hope, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For an increase of love, charity, and conversion. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. And on this Tuesday, here as we're waiting for Pentecost, right? We're praying to prepare ourselves for the coming of Jesus at Pentecost. And um, we pray the sorrowful mysteries. And this is really appropriate because the Holy Spirit comes to us as a shower of grace through the wounds of Christ. And the first sorrowful mystery is the agony in the garden. In the garden, Jesus saw you right now in whatever situation you're in, whatever worries you have, concerns, whatever heavy heartedness. And he prayed for you in the garden of Gethsemane and he sweat blood. And each one of those portals of his pores was a portal not only of his precious blood, but of the Holy Spirit that filled him and flowed out of him to everyone of all times, of all places. Jesus suffered in the garden. He said, Father, if it can be your will, let this cup pass from me, but not my will, but yours be done. His prayer was perfect because it was conformed in perfect trust to the will of the Father. And the Father sent angels to support him when men betrayed and abandoned him. In this mystery, we pray that our prayer can be as uh, perfect as Christ, surrender to the will of God when we don't know his will. When we don't like it, maybe we are praying for something different. We pray that our prayer can be seraphic in that surrender and trust that he will make all things work for the good of those who love him. We pray that when men betray and abandon reject us, that the Lord may send angels. When maybe we can't reach the people who we love, who we're praying for, who are suffering, we pray that the Lord send angels to bring them comfort and light. And we pray in a special way that all of the Holy Spirit that poured through that precious blood coming from the heart of Jesus through his pores, in his sweat, in his tears, in the Garden of Gethsemane, may fall upon us like a paschal rain and purify us and transform us and make us new. By the intercession of St. Michael and the celestial choir of seraphim, may the Lord make us worthy to burn with the fire of perfect charity. By the intercession of St. Michael and the celestial choir of cherubim, may the Lord grant us the grace to leave the way of sin and run in the path of Christian perfection. We pray for wisdom, knowledge, understanding, right judgment, counsel, truth, and light. The agony in the garden. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of a powerful intercession, the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave The second sorrowful mystery is a scourging at the pillar. Once again, we look at every wound on the body of Christ caused by the scourging. And every wound is a portal for the Holy Spirit. As all of his blood rushes forth in a shower of blood upon us, shed for us, the Holy Spirit is also shed upon us as an ocean of mercy and love where we can soak so that the stain of sin is removed so that the world is removed and so that we are purified and transformed to be the catalyst of the light of God in this world in this mystery we pray for an increase of humility as Christ had being God bound and purity that comes from his bloody wounds. We pray for docility and surrender and for the wisdom to know the will of God so that we can love it and fulfill it. By the intercession of St. Michael and the Celestial Choir of Thrones, may the Lord infuse into our hearts a true and sincere spirit of humility. We pray for peace and purity, meekness and gentleness, humility, joy, and docility. St. Paul says that peace is brought through the blood of Christ, right? 
by the intercession of St. Michael and the Celestial Choir of Dominations, may the Lord give us grace to govern our senses and overcome any unruly passions. We pray for God's will to be made known to us, to us for help in perplexities and for holy zeal, perseverance, and confidence. Our Father, who art in heaven, the scourging of the pillar, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Russian. Radusia Maria Blagarati Polnaya Gaspot Staboy. Blagoslavienna Timyesh de Jonani i Blagoslavien Plecereva Tvayevo Isus. Svetaya Maria Mater Boja Melisa Nas Grishni. Nini if Chas Mirti Nashi Amen. Polish. Strovash Maria Waski Pauna Pan Stabo. Bogoslaviona Shtimian Zenevastami. I Bogoslavioni Ovot Shivota Tvayego Jesus. Shventa Maria, Matka Boja, Mudelshes and Amitshish Nini, Herasif Gojina, Ishmir Chinashi Amen, Spanish. Dios de Salve Maria, Yanares de Grazia, El Senores Contigo. Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito el se fruto de vientre Jesús. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros pecadores. Ahora y a la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Italia. Ave María, piena de gracia, el Señor y conté. Tu se benedetta fra la donna y benedetto el fruto de tu Señor Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, prega per noi pecadores, adesso en la hora de la nuestra muerte. Amén. Latin. Ave María, gracia plena, dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus, fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostri. Amen. Russia. Radius ia Maria, blagada ti polnaya, gaspod staboi, blagaslavien natin jesh de jonani, i blagaslavien plodjereva tvajevo isus. Svetaya Maria, Mater Boja, Melisa Nas Grishni, Nini if Chas Mirti Nashi Amen, Polish. Strovash Maria, Waski Pauna, Pan Stabo, Bogoslaviona, Shtimienz and Avastami, I Bogoslavioni, Ovad Shivata Tvayego Jesus. Shventa Maria, Matka Boja, Murosh's and Amikshishnini. Herasif Gojina y Shmirchina Shi Amen, Spanish. Dios te salve María, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito el se fruto de vientre Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y a la hora de nuestra muerte. Amen, Italia. Ave Maria, piena de gracia, el Señor y conté. Tu se benedetta fra la donna y benedetto el fruto de tu Señor Jesús. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, prega per noi pecadori, adesso en la hora de la nuestra muerte. Amén. Latin. Ave Maria, gracia plena, dominus tecum. Benedicta tu en mulieribus et benedictus. Frutus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostri. Amen. Gloria, Patri et Filio, et Spiritui Sancto, sic erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of a powerful intercession 
of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The third sorrowful mystery is the crowning with thorns. In this mystery, Christ's authority as our king was mocked, and he suffered terrible physical pain from the crowning with thorns to his head, in addition to the interior pain of darkness and mockery and abandonment, fear. In this mystery, we pray for the gifts of wisdom and knowledge, understanding and right judgment that Christ suffered to give to us. All of those wounds in his head were opened up as a portal for the Holy Spirit to come to us, unworthy as we are. We especially want to pray for those who have erroneous judgment in the world, those who are lackadaisical, they've left the faith or they don't care about God those who live their vocations for themselves, any marriage, any religious vocation, any priesthood lived for yourself is a detriment. So we pray for a conversion of thought. We pray for the erroneous thinking of um, selfishness and abortion and disordered gender and marriage and things like that in the world. We pray for those that caught up in false religion just pray that the Lord may purify the minds, especially of the youth, for an increase in that humility and purity that bring with it the wisdom of God. We pray for those who have erroneous judgment, either against us or those who we love or we pray for. We ask not only that they be given the light of God, but they make up reparation for the evil that their misjudgment has done. We pray by the intercession of St. Michael and the Celestial Choir of Virtues. May the Lord preserve us from evil and falling into temptation. We pray for the grace to carry out the will of God, the government of seasons and elements, for those in public office, and for extraordinary needs of the mind and body. By the intercession of St. Michael and the Celestial Choir of Powers, may the Lord protect our souls against the snares and the temptations of the devil. We pray for the powers to fight against the evil spirits that are set to destroy the great plans of God. And we ask for strength, courage, and fortitude. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Fourth sorrowful mystery is the carrying of the cross. Here, after being a bloody mess full of wounds, Christ took our cross upon his shoulders. In this mystery, we pray that we may respond to this gift of his love worthily. We pray that as he lifts our crosses on his own shoulders, we may courageously and selflessly be willing to lift the crosses of others onto our shoulders, whether it be through serving them or forgiving them, loving them, donating to them, praying for them, visiting them. We pray that the world may have lighter crosses because of the strength that we get from him carrying our cross so that we can carry others. And God will call each one of us to that in a different way, so we pray for discernment in that regard. By the intercession of St. Michael and the Celestial Choir of Principalities, may God fill our souls with a true spirit of obedience. We ask them to guard all nations and help those in authority, those who govern bodies and souls. By the intercession of St. Michael and the Celestial Choir of Archangels, May the Lord give us perseverance in faith and in all good works, in order that we may attain to the glory of heaven. Amen. The carrying of the cross, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Excuse me, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Russian. Radusia Maria, Blagadati Polna Yagas, Botsta Boya, Blagoslavian Natim Yeshta Jonami, E Blagoslavian Plecherava Tvayava Usus, Svetaya Maria Mater Boja, Malisa Nas Greshni, Nini Vchas Mirtina Shiaman Polish. Strovas Maria Waski Pauna Panstavo, Bogoswaviona Stimians and Avasami, E Bogoswavioni, Ova Shavota Tvayego Jesus, Shventa Maria Mat Kabosha, Muloshes and Amiv Shishnimi, Terasiv Gogina, Ishmir Gina, she amet Spinach, Dios de Salve Maria, Yenares de Grazia, Senores Pontico. 
Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito se fruto de vientre Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y a la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Atalia. Ave María, piena de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Tu se benedetta fra la donne, y benedetto el fruto del tuo Señor Jesús. Santa Maria, Madre di Dio, prega per noi peccatori, adesso e nell'ora della nostra morte. Amen. Leto. Ave Maria, grazia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus, frutus ventris tu, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostri. Amen. Russian. Radusia Maria, Blagada ti polnea gaspots da boi, Blagasla viena ti miesta jonami, i Blagasla vien plecereva trajeva Isus. Svetaya Maria, Mater Boja, Malisa nas grešni, Nini vča smirti naši amen polnež. Strovaš Maria vaski pelna pans da boj, Boga slavionaš ti mienta na vastane, I Boga Slavioni, ovat shivata tvajego Jesus. Shventa Maria Matka Boža, mudolše za nami kšešnimi, tera si v godžina i šmirči naši amen spenež. Dios te salve Maria, jena reis te gracia, el Senjor es contigo. Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres, i bendito el se fruto de vientre Jesus. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y a la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Atalia. Ave Maria, gracia plena, Dominus teco. Benedicta tu en mulieribus et benedictus, fructus ventris tu, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis pecatoribus, nunc et en ora mortis nostri. Amén. I don't know if that was Italian, sorry, Latin. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostri. Amen. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicur erat in principio et nunc et semper, Ed in secula seculorum. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession, the immaculate heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave. Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The fifth sorrowful mystery, the crucifixion and death of our Lord in this mystery. We pray that as that shower of blood pours forth from us to us on Calvary, that we be consumed with the Holy Spirit. We ask the Holy Spirit to fill us with all of his gifts and all of his fruits and all of his charisms. And most of all, we pray for that gift of peace, but not just for our own hearts, but that we're instruments of peace in the world and that peace go out from us to everyone. By the intercession of St. Michael and the Celestial Choir of Guardian Angels, may the Lord grant us to be protected by them in this mortal life and conducted in the life to come to heaven. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession, the immaculate heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn, then, O most gracious Advocate, thy eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech thee, that by meditating on the mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known, that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, our Mother. To thee do we come, before thee we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer us. Amen. O Saint Joseph, whose protection is so great, so strong, so prompt before the throne of God, I place in you my interests and desires. O Saint Joseph, do assist me by your powerful intercession and obtain for me from your divine Son all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ our Lord, so that having engaged here below your, your heavenly power, 
I may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers. O Saint Joseph, I never weary contemplating you, and Jesus asleep in your arms. I dare not approach while he reposes near your heart. Press him in my name, kiss his fine head for me. Ask him to return the kiss when I draw my dying breath. Saint Joseph, patron of departing souls, pray for me. O Saint Joseph, tear of demons, cast thy solemn gaze upon the devil and his minions. Protect us with thy mighty staff. You fled through the night to avoid the devil's wicked designs. Now with the power of God, smite the demons as they flee from thee. Grant special protection, we pray, for children and the unborn, families and relationships, work and ministries, homes and possessions, persecuted Christians, priests and the dying. By God's grace, no demon dares approach while you are near. So we beg of you, St. Joseph, always be near to us. Amen. And on Tuesdays, if we get this far, we pray the long form of the St. Michael prayer, right? And we ask the intercession of Michael and Gabriel and Raphael, the seraphim, the cherubim, the thrones, the dominions, the virtues, the powers, the principalities, the archangels, and all of the guardian angels to be with us and pray for us tonight. O glorious Prince of the Heavenly Host, St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the battle and the terrible warfare that we're waging against the principalities and powers, against rulers of this world of darkness and against evil spirits. Come to the aid of man whom Almighty God created immortal, made in his own image and likeness and redeemed at a great price from the tyranny of Satan. Fight this day the battle of the Lord together with the holy angels, as already thou hast fought the leader of the proud angels, Lucifer and his apostate host, who were powerless to resist thee, nor was there place for them any longer in heaven. That cruel ancient serpent, who is called the devil or Satan, who seduces the whole world, was cast into the abyss with his angels. Behold, this primeval enemy and slayer of men has taken courage. Transformed into an angel of light, he wanders about with all the multitude of wicked spirits, invading the earth in order to blot out the name of God and of his Christ, to cease upon slay and cast into eternal perdition souls destined for the crown of eternal glory. This wicked dragon pours out as a most impure flood, the venom of his malice on men of depraved mind and corrupt heart, the spirit of lying and piety and blasphemy, the pestilent breath of impurity and every vice and iniquity. These most crafty enemies have filled and inebriated with gall and bitterness the church, the spouse of the Immaculate Lamb, and have laid in pious hands on our most sacred possessions. In the holy place itself, where the sea of holy Peter and the chair of truth has been set up as a light of the world, they have raised the throne of their abominable impiety with the iniquitous design that when the pastor has been struck, the sheep may be scattered. Arise then, O invincible prince, and bring help against the attacks of the lost spirits to the people of God, and give them the victory. They venerate thee as their protector and patron, and thee, holy church, glories as their defense against the malicious powers of hell. To thee is God, and trusted the souls of men to be established in heavenly beatitude. Pray to the God of peace that he may put Satan under our feet, so far conquered that he may no longer be able to hold men in captivity and harm the church. Offer our prayers in the sight of the Most High, so that they may quickly find mercy in the sight of the Lord, and vanquishing the dragon, the ancient serpent, who is the devil and Satan. Do thou again make him captive in the abyss, that he may no longer seduce the nations. Amen. Behold the cross of the Lord, be scattered, ye hostile powers. The Lion of the tribe of Judah has conquered the root of David. Let thy mercy be on us, O Lord, as we have hoped in thee. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come unto thee. Let us pray. O God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we call upon thy holy name. As supplicants, we implore thy clemency, that by the intercession of Mary, ever virgin, immaculate, and our mother, of the glorious Saint Michael, the archangel, Thou wouldst die to help us against Satan and all the other unclean spirits who wander about the world for the injury of the human race and the ruin of souls. Amen. Angels of God, come Holy Spirit. Angels of God, our guardians dear, to whom God's love commits us here. 
ever this night be at our side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. We pray for those who have died. We pray for our family, our friends, our benefactors, for those we've worked for, those that have lived in our homes, on our properties, in our neighborhoods and parishes, and those in greatest need. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. May your perpetual light shine upon them. May their souls and all the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Eternal God, we offer to you the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the Masses said throughout the world for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, those in the universal church, within our own home and within our own family. Amen. We pray St. Patrick's Prayer. I arise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through belief in the threeness, through confession of the oneness of the creator of creation. I arise today through the strength of Christ's birth with his baptism, through the strength of his crucifixion with his burial, through the strength of his resurrection with his ascension, through the strength of his descent for the judgment of doom. I arise today through the strength of the love of the cherubim, in the obedience of the angels, the service of the archangels, the hope of resurrection to meet with reward. In the prayers of patriarchs, predictions of prophets, in the preaching of apostles and the faith of confessors, in the innocence of holy virgins and the deeds of righteous men. I arise today through the strength of heaven, the light of the sun, the radiance of the moon, the splendor of fire, the speed of lightning. The swiftness of wind, the depth of the sea, the stability of the earth, and the firmness of rock. I arise today through God's strength to pilot me, God's might to uphold me, God's wisdom to guide me. God's eye to look before me, God's ear to hear me, God's word to speak for me, God's host, sorry, hand to guard me. God's shield to protect me, God's host to save me. From the snares of the devil, from temptations of vices, from everyone who wishes me ill afar and near. I summon today all these powers between me and those evils against every cruel and merciless power that may oppose my body and soul, against incantations of false prophets, black laws of paganism, false laws of heretics and the craft of idolatry, against spells of witches and smiths, wizards, saintness and warlords, and against every knowledge that corrupts man's body and soul. Jesus Christ, to shield me today against poison and burning, choking and suffocating, destruction and accidents, debt, pestilence, infestation, and plague, against drowning and wounding, sickness and calumny, disobedience, disrespect, profanity, immodesty, unchastity, impurity, confusion and misunderstanding, fear, worry, anxiety and stress, depression, discouragement, greed, self-absorption, unrepentance, unforgiveness, jealousy, competition, blocking, division, rash or false judgment, vanity, selfishness and pride, anger and lust, dishonesty and betrayal, denial, abandonment, rejection, indifference, addictions, unfaithfulness, and against every other evil that could come against me or all of those for whom I'm praying, so that there may come to us instead an abundance of reward. Jesus Christ be with me, Jesus Christ before me, Jesus Christ behind me, Jesus Christ in me, Jesus Christ beneath me, Jesus Christ above me, Jesus Christ on my right, Jesus Christ on my left, Jesus Christ when I lie down, Jesus Christ when I sit down, Jesus Christ when I arise, Jesus Christ in the heart of every man who thinks of me, Jesus Christ in the mouth of everyone who speaks of me. Jesus Christ in every eye that sees me and Jesus Christ in every ear that hears me. I arise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through belief in the threeness, through confession of the oneness of the creator of creation. Amen. And we got cut off last night, so we didn't get to pray our prayers to the Holy Spirit. So we're going to do that and then go on to our prayers to the angels. I think we're in a good spot right? Come Holy Spirit, come, and from your celestial home, shed the ray of light divine. Come Father of the poor, come source of all our store, come within our bosoms shine. 
You of comforters, the best, you the soul's most welcomed guest, sweet refreshment here below. In our labor, rest most sweet, grateful coolness in the heat, solace in the midst of woe. O most blessed light divine, shine within these hearts of thine, and our inmost being fill. Where you are not, we have not, nothing good in deed or thought, nothing free from taint of ill. Heal our wounds, our strength renew, on our dryness pour your dew, Wash the stain of guilt away. Bend the stubborn heart and will. Melt the frozen, warm the chill. Guide the steps that go astray. On the faithful who adore and confess you evermore in your sevenfold gift descend. Give them your virtue's sure reward. Give them your salvation, Lord. Give them joys that never end. On my knees before the great multitude of heavenly witnesses, I offer myself, soul and body, to you, holy, eternal Spirit of God. I adore the brightness of your purity, the unerring keenness of your justice, the might of your love. You are the strength and light of my soul. In you I live and move and am, and I desire never to grieve you by unfaithfulness to grace. I pray with all my heart to be kept from the smallest sin against you. Mercifully guard my every thought and grant that I may always watch for your light and listen to your voice and follow your gracious inspirations. I cling to you and give myself to you and ask you by your compassion to watch over me in my weakness. Holding the pierced feet of Jesus and looking at his five wounds, trusting in his precious blood, at adoring his open side and stricken heart, I implore you, adorable spirit, helper of my infirmity, so to keep me in your grace that I may never sin against you. Give me grace, O Holy Spirit, Spirit of the Father and the Son, to say to you always and everywhere, speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, who before ascending into heaven, Promise to send the Holy Spirit to finish your work in the souls of your apostles and disciples. Deign to grant the same Holy Spirit to me that he may perfect in my soul the work of your grace and love. Grant me the spirit of wisdom that I may despise the perishable things of this world and aspire only after things that are eternal. The spirit of understanding to enlighten my mind with the light of your divine truth the spirit of counsel that I may ever choose the surest way of pleasing God and gaining heaven, the spirit of fortitude that I may bear my cross with you and that I may overcome with courage all the obstacles that oppose my salvation, the spirit of knowledge that I may know God, know myself, and grow perfect in the science of the saints, the spirit of piety that I may find the service of God sweet and amiable, the spirit of fear that I may be filled with a loving reverence toward God and may dread in any way to displease him. Mark me, dear Lord, with the sign of your true disciples and animate me in all things with your spirit. St. Augustine's Prayer to the Holy Spirit. Breathe in me, Holy Spirit, that my thoughts may be holy. Move in me, Holy Spirit, that my work may be holy. Attract my heart, Holy Spirit, that I may love what is holy. Strengthen me, Holy Spirit, that I may defend what is holy. Protect me, Holy Spirit, that I may always be holy. St. Alphonsus Liguori's Prayer Holy Spirit, divine consoler, I adore you as my true God. With God the Father and God the Son, I adore you and unite myself to the adoration you receive from the angels and saints. I give you my heart and I offer my ardent thanksgiving for all the grace which you never cease to bestow on me. O giver of all supernatural gifts, who filled the soul of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with such immense favors, I beg you to visit me with your grace and love and to grant me the gift of holy fear, so it may act on me as a check to prevent me from falling back into any of my past sins for which I beg pardon. Grant me the gift of piety, that I may serve you for the future with increased fervor, 
Follow with more promptness your holy inspirations. Observe your divine precepts with greater fidelity. Grant me the gift of knowledge that I may know the things of God and enlightened by your holy teaching may walk without deviation in the path of eternal salvation. Grant me the gift of fortitude that I may overcome courageously all the assaults of the devil and all the dangers of this world which threaten the salvation of my soul. Grant me the gift of counsel that I may choose what is more conductive to my spiritual advancement and may discover the wiles and snares of the tempter. Grant me the gift of understanding that I may apprehend the divine mysteries and by contemplation of heavenly things detach my thoughts and affections from the vain things of this miserable world. Grant me the gift of wisdom that I may rightly direct all of my actions, referring them to God as my last end, so that having loved him and served him in this life, I may have the happiness of possessing him eternally in the next. A prayer to the Holy Spirit by Cardinal Mercier. O Holy Spirit, beloved of my soul, I adore you. Enlighten me, guide me, strengthen me, console me. Tell me what I should do and give me your orders. I promise to submit myself to all that you desire of me and to accept all that you permit to happen to me. Let me only know your will. And prayer to the Holy Spirit by St. Anthony of Padua. O oh God, send forth your Holy Spirit into my heart that I may perceive, into my mind that I may remember, into my soul that I may meditate. Inspire me to speak with piety, holiness, tenderness, and mercy. Teach, guide, and direct my thoughts and senses from the beginning to the end. May your grace ever help and correct me, and may I be strengthened now with wisdom from on high for the sake of your infinite mercy. Amen. And now we do our consecration to the holy angels and St. Michael, so powerful. O holy angels of God, here in the presence of the triune God and in the love of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Redeemer, I, and then say your name, Mary Elizabeth Ann Klaska, a poor sinner, want to make a covenant with you who are his servants, so that in union with you I might work with humility and fortitude for the glory of God and the coming of his kingdom. Therefore, I implore you to assist me, especially in the adoration of God in the most holy sacrament of the altar, in the contemplation of the word and the salvific works of God, in the imitation of Christ and in the love of his cross and a spirit of expiation, in the faithful fulfillment of my mission within the church, serving humbly after the example of Mary, my heavenly mother, your queen, and you, my good guardian angel, who continually behold the face of our Father in heaven, God entrusted me to you from the very beginning of my life. I thank you with all my heart for your loving care, and I commit myself to you and promise you my love and fidelity. I beg you to protect me against my own weakness and against the attacks of the wicked spirits. Enlighten my mind and heart so that I may always know and accomplish the will of God and lead me to union with God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O most noble prince of the angelic hierarchies, glorious warrior of Almighty God, zealous lover of his glory, terror of the rebellious angels, love and delight of all the just angels, my beloved archangel, Saint Michael, desiring to be numbered among your devoted servants, I today offer and consecrate myself to you and place myself, my family, and all that I possess under your most powerful protection. I entreat you not to look at how little I as your servant have to offer, being only a wretched sinner, but to gaze rather with favorable eye at the heartfelt affection with which this offering is made, and remember that if from this day onward I am under your patronage, you must during all of my life assist me and procure for me the pardon of my many grievous offenses and sins, the grace to love with all my heart my God and Savior Jesus and my sweet mother Mary, and to obtain for me all the help necessary to arrive at my crown of glory. Defend me always from my temporal and spiritual enemies and particularly in the last moments of my life. Come then, O glorious Prince, succor me in my last struggle, with your powerful weapon, 
cast far from me into the infernal abysses, that provocator and proud angel, that one day you prostrated in the celestial battle. Amen. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ, save us and the whole world. Most precious blood and save of Jesus Christ, save us and the whole world. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ, save us and the whole world. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make our hearts like unto thine. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate and sorrowful heart of Our Lady, pray for us. Good Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Mary Magdalene de Patsy, pray for us and our interior life. All of you holy angels, pray for us. All of you holy martyrs, pray for us. All of you holy founders, pray for us. All of you holy confessors, pray for us. All of you holy virgins, pray for us. All of you holy men and women of God, Pray for us, all of you holy missionaries. Pray for us, all of you holy contemplatives and hermits. Pray for us, all of you holy saints. Pray for us, and all the holy souls in purgatory. Pray for us, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia. That's the first time we've made it through the entire rosary without Facebook kicking me off, I think, in three weeks. <laughs> Thank you for your prayers, and we shall persevere. I've always learned when it comes to Satan or people doing evil, regardless of if it's a spiritual warfare or if it's people, um, if you ignore it and you just keep going forward, eventually they get bored. <laughs> both people and demons and then they stop and they go find somebody else to annoy so we're gonna just keep kind of plucking away here at this rosary and hopefully we'll be able to um, build it back up without any interruptions god bless you and i shall see you tomorrow for our rosary with saint joseph <laughs>